So, if I could summarize year 12 in 30 seconds, this would be it. I had maths, which went horribly wrong. <laughs> Half the day is gone and I haven't really done much. I'm surprised I haven't dropped out yet. <laughs> I should do a timed essay, but I really don't think I have time for that. I think... I think I need sleep. That's all I need. I feel like I just made a, like a fake bilateral agreement. <laughs> Oh sorry, let's start from the beginning, shall we? Hi, my name is Bree. I'm a class of 2020 student that studies standard English, standard math, legal, modern and economics. During April, when New South Wales went into lockdown due to the coronavirus, I was very bored in quarantine and thought that it would be interesting to document my year 12 journey. And oh boy, what a year it was. So, here's my year 12 experience. morning guys so it's currently 9 53 and i am in my modern class right now um i've just checked google classroom because all of our teachers put stuff on google classroom um for us to do since we're in quarantine but i just checked it and we had to read this reading by richard evans um so yeah it's period two i had a free period this morning which I used to work on my legal studies um, essay and I haven't finished that yet I'm like I just got started in it and I was supposed to do that for homework um, on the weekends so and I didn't do that but you know what it's okay we've got assembly today but um, obviously we can't have assembly because we are in quarantine but I'm gonna use that time to work on my legal We just finished modern and I just handed my stuff in. Um, it's now assembly, um, but as you know, we don't have assembly because everyone's not at school. So now I'm going to check my school email, my Google Classroom for my year group to see if there's anything on and what we have to do. And, um, and also central because they put student notices up. So yeah. So I'm back. I just finished um, a well-being survey that we had to do. It was like three questions. It was super quick to do. Um, but now I need to go tackle my legal essay because it's June next period and I have about like, I wouldn't say. And I have, let's see how many words we have. Um, 100 words. And I need to write 500. So <laughs> wish me luck. The birth parents, a new birth certificate is issued. got a message on Edmodo from my economics teacher and you know I just haven't been doing my essays and you know we have three essays to do and I was supposed to hand one in by the end of what, what was it by the end of like the double lesson on Tuesday I think it's, today is Thursday and I still haven't had anything in you told just so hard Hey guys, so currently it's Wednesday 13th of May and it's 9.36pm. I'm just sitting here with my journal and my pen um, because journaling is fun and I love journaling. Um, it really helps me 
with just understanding what I'm feeling, I guess. Um, highly recommend. So today I went to school. I wasn't in school yesterday because I was just feeling really, really crap, basically. Um, but I was crying about my economics exam. Like I was so scared to get it back because I wrote like 400 words and the max that she said we could write is a thousand and if you really think about it like 400 and a thousand it's not like it, it's not looking good for me honestly uh, I'm glad I stayed home yesterday because I just wasn't in a good state to be in school yeah I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do about online school because technically we could stay home for the whole of this week and next week they're starting face-to-face -face teaching again for year 12s so they want everyone in but i just don't really want to be in school hey guys so it's currently friday the 22nd of may it's 9 48 pm so it's almost 10 o'clock but i'm just sitting here i've done some work on my legal because we have an assessment on Monday and I literally just started collating my notes because for the past week I've just been feeling really down but I've got my laptop here I've, I've done some notes on ADVs and domestic violence and also surrogacy so tomorrow I'm going to aim to do two timed essays so this is my setup. I've got my laptop here I've got Osley open this is the Family Law Act got my notes um, got some class legislation notes and this is the thing I'm making. It's just a table with the content, syllabus, bullet point, legislation, um, cases, and quotes and media, which is what you need in an essay. So I'm going to have to finish making this. I think we all have, like, that thought that we're all going to drop out, so... I'm surprised I haven't dropped out yet. It is Monday 25th of May and it's currently 9.13 p.m. I'm just gonna update you on what happened with my legal exam this morning. So this morning actually went really really well. Um, we got five more minutes because we got like an interruption from the deputy principal. So I ended up doing the second question which was about the legal and non-legal responses in relation to the care and protection of children which is like a really good question um, and I ended up writing seven pages which is crazy like I've never written that much in my entire life before morning guys it's the 29th of June and right now it's 6.54 a.m. and it's 8 degrees. It's so cold. I usually don't wake up this early because I live really close to school. So I always wake up at 8. But this week is going to be our last week of term 3. So we've got one more term left of school after this term. I have my legal assessment. It's Thursday and I haven't started studying for it. Um, wasn't doing anything on the weekend, so I woke up early this morning to hopefully get some of my legal study notes done um, and just like study for a bit. Um, and if I get time, I need to do my math homework because I'm so behind. Like, I haven't been doing my math homework. I think at this point in the year, everyone's just kind of tired. Hey guys, it is the 16th of August, it's a Sunday, and right now it's 6.10, um, and tomorrow is my English paper 1 trial exam. So last week we started our trial exam and we had our English paper 2 exam, so there are like 3 essays we had to write. Um, and then I had maths, which went horribly wrong. <laughs> um, I think I left a lot of blank spaces. The supervisor checking my pages, making sure that 
and my student number on um, she was looking at it and she saw so many blank spaces so just not not the best um i should have tried harder but you know what that's over and done with so uh we'll just forget about that um until i get my exam back which is it's gonna be fun so two weeks ago i got an early entry offer for Macquarie uni so that's why i have no motivation yeah i think i realized that the ATA is so hyped up and like once you get into uni it doesn't really matter like even though i'm just in the middle of my trial exam i still have to go through the motions of studying because if i don't then i'll have nothing to do i'm still a student i'm still in school so if i'm not studying then what am i doing then so today we started our first HSC exam we had english paper one and it was interesting um i remember for trials i didn't finish my exam because I spent too long in the reading section. So within English paper 1, you've got section 1 and section 2. Section 1 is reading paper and they basically give you some like articles and like stories and poems to read and you have to answer some short answer questions. Um, they range from like 3 to like 6 marks. And uh, well, I didn't really finish that because I just ran out of time. Um, I let my lesson know from trials because I didn't finish my trial essay or the short answer questions. So um, I did the essay first today. And um, funny story, when I first sat down, I was late. Um, I remember from trials we had to be like 20 minutes early to the exam hall. But um, I just, I went out late and I got in and everybody was sitting there already and then I was trying to find my seat and I couldn't find my seat because I didn't realize that they put people according to their number and my number was a lot later than what my last name is. I was at the end of the hall because of my student number. So I had a great time trying to find that and my friend helped me to find my seat which is uh, you know, great. I need to sit down somewhere to do my exam. Um, <laughs> great start. So this is the setup for today. Got my laptop, my essays there. I'm trying to do something with that. Loads of books. I don't know what's going on there. Um, I've got my pens and stuff for my exam. And my uh, beloved booklets, because uh, I need these to study. And I've got, this book is very helpful, I borrowed it from the library. Um, there's like math stuff there, legal, economics, it, it's, it's everywhere. Guess who finished their English paper 2 today? Woo! Um, so yeah, I finished English in high school. I won't ever have to do English again unless I need to. <laughs> I really didn't like English. English just didn't really make sense to me. Hey guys, it is Thursday and my economic exam is tomorrow. Um, I spent yesterday night trying to do an essay on protectionist policies and that was like last year's exam question. Um, well, I didn't really get too far. Yeah, so it's not going too well. It's... What time is it? It's currently 12.07 p.m. So, half the day is gone and I haven't really done much. Um, but the goal for today is do my protectionist policies question. You know, I don't really know if they're going to ask that because they asked it last year. But um, I think I also need to know about the trade war and like what's been happening. Um, I have my COVID stats down, so that's good. And I need to learn about just basically the whole freaking syllabus. It's currently 1.22 a.m. and um, I just finished my past question that I was doing. Um, yeah, it, it's late. An exam in like a few hours, so um, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now. 
Okay, so the math paper did not go well. Um, yeah, there were like 23 marks that were the same as the advanced paper, and I did standard math, so it's not the best. Just, you know, the first booklet was tricky towards the end, and then the second booklet was just really, really hard. I've got legal tomorrow and it's also in the morning um, I'm gonna try to write some legislation down and like trying to memorize stuff So it's now the following Tuesday, it's the 3rd of November So I finished my modern exam last Thursday, so that's, that was my last exam um, So I'm now finally done and yeah, it's, just, it's surreal to think that I'm all done now And I, I finished all my exams and it's really weird because um, a lot of my friends do have like multiple exams left so right now i'm just chilling <laughs> um it's, it feels really weird to just not be stressed um and not do schoolwork well that's the end of my hsc exams i hope that you guys enjoyed my vlog and i'm just gonna wait until my ATA comes out okay so it's now 6 8 a.m and i just got a text from Nessa and I saw I saw my um, economics mark already. Um, so I checked my email as well, and apparently results were out at five nineteen a.m. <laughs> and like my body just woke myself up. I don't want to check it. I'm gonna check it. I don't want to check it. <gasps> I mean, I think I did okay, like the bands, the bands are like fine. Yeah, I think the marks in the bands are fine for all the subjects, but I'm just a bit worried about my actual ATAR. I think I'm, just, I'm a bit disappointed with economics just because I have been getting higher marks and now I ended up with a band four, I got a 72. next time.